Hello. Welcome back to our ICT video tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a double of exposure with two tones in Photopea or Photoshop. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, there. So first, this is our output project. This is called double exposure with two tone color. So what you will learn in this project? First, it's about the adjustment. Second, hue and saturation, and also the uh, double exposure itself. Okay, you will learn that. And then also we use the channel mixer and everything there. Okay, so this is gonna be our project soon. Okay, so let's start. First, uh, you need to erase the background of your image. I'm using from the desktop image, okay. I uh, will share also the link or uh, if you want to try it, okay, and please give credits for the website. So here we go. So I have this, the output will be like this, okay, but already delayed the background. That's what you need to do first. And then after that, I just copy this one because this is the, our, my master here. Okay, there, here we go. So you need to make a position like two, picture of yourself of course and then make it like have the interaction between the others okay then first what we need to do we need to add the background white background so i will use i'm using photoshop right now photoshop it's the same so i will just choose uh, white here and then just draw the white box here then and then it will cover so you need to put it down here and then merge how too much just block all the layer with control alt control and right click just merge layer i just name it a and do the same thing with the other image after you remove your background add the solid color for the background like white color here okay yeah. just put it here again down here we go so much again hold control merge and merge layer this one done okay so next what we need to do first make it the same position okay make it there interact between the others a and b i will just change b there okay so you go to a okay it's up to you just go to the up layer go to a and double click double click and then click here and checklist the R. So it will be appear like this. Okay, just unchecklist R. If you uncheck this is called channel mixer. If you unchecklist B, it will be like this. Green it will be nothing. So basically the image is from RGB, red, green, blue. Okay. So you unchecklist this one, right? Done. That's it. Next, what we need to do, as you can see here. Okay. Uh, next, we will add the blend here. We will add the hue saturation to make it more red. Okay, and also we add levels. So we start with the hue and saturation here, and then just customize the color that you want. Just so make it like more, uh, uh, like more showing the color like red. I just make it like more red here. Okay, you can try. There, done. Okay, and after that, I will add levels here. Change to red. There, you can customize. Make it more. Uh, okay, there. Okay, done. You add the hue saturation, also the level. What's next? Next, we will get the or keep the pipe of the color. How to do that with gradient? Once again, it's with gradient. So first, we need to find the gradient here. Just use this one. Find gradient here. Then you can see the gradient, okay? the white gradient here. So you just change the color with red or blue. It's up to you. Just give the five. Red, something like this. OK, that. And then click OK. Click OK. And then click reverse, change to uh we can change with radial okay and then scale 
it get bigger can be like this or can you can choose linear it's up to you okay Just need to put use the for me it's better using already on yeah so it will be like this and then I will set with blue not red blue color blue color yeah get the just I draw for it just get this color for me okay and then just click okay here we go this is our gradient layer and then for me I just change the opacity a bit here. Yeah, down there. Okay, next, what we need to do next? Next, uh, I will just erase some part here just so make it detail in here. It's optional, you can erase it or not, it's optional. So if you want to erase it, this is in B image. So I will just make uh, the here, just add masking here, just click here, and then use brush. Just remember that choose the soft one, the soft, Press. Okay. And then you can resize it. Okay. With the bracket beside the P on your keyboard. Okay. And after that, if black, that means eraser. There. If white, that means recover. Okay. You see this? It's a recover. It's white, right? So you need to click this one. Okay. And then change black to erase. So. This is an option also if you want to uh, erase and delete, but you're afraid you cannot make it like perfect again the recovery. So using the masking here. So we just erase something like this. Done. Okay. And after that, what's next? Next, you will add the text, your name here. You will add your name here. Okay. I will just be positioning. Then control T to make it big. It depends on your idea. Remember, this is the emotion. You need to show your emotion in this project. Okay, next, what's next? We will add the your name here. So how to do that? Okay, how to do that? We can do like this. Click here and then click text box. Just type here. Example uh, name is um, Valencia, Valencia. It's supposed to be caps lock all. Example Valencia. In here, I'm using the Sega UI bolt. Sega UI bolt. You can follow that or not. So just and then control T, press or control, move it like 90 degrees. Here we go. Okay, Valencia. Here your name. And after that, you need to duplicate. Control J, duplicate, and then make it bigger. Simple like this. Okay, and then what you need to do, make it this one rasterize the control, and then right click, rasterize time. Why we need to rasterize? Because later on, we will delay some part because it's cover here, right? We will delay some part. Okay, so we need to rasterize, rasterize, that means editable. Okay, and then after that, change the opacity first. Change the opacity. Here we go. Change the opacity. Okay, done. And then I will erase some part with eraser directly. Just click here, eraser. Make it smaller, some part. Here we go. So, right, done. That's it. And then after that, you can save as GPEG. Okay, and follow the format name. That's very important. Okay, and then let's say, sir, um, it's I need more red in here. How to do that? So just duplicate layer. This is optional. If you want to make it more red, duplicate the A image. Okay, duplicate Control J, and then after that you double click, and then click color overlay. It will be like this. Click OK, and then change the opacity. So it's more fast, right? That's how you do it. But it's optional. Okay. It's optional. It, it can be put more red because you duplicate, but it's optional. You think uh, it's already good, so just save and publish it. Okay. 
that's it that's how make a double exposure with two tone with a very easy way to do it okay see you again in the next video tutorial please uh subscribe and also like this video bye bye thank you so much guys